when I was younger, I hated wearing my hair curly. I liked it mm -hmm. straight because all the other girls had straight hair. And that's all you see. And mm -hmm. that's all I saw. And people yeah. would constantly touch my hair oh, in boy. class and be like, oh my god, you have such curly hair. What's up, McDermott fam? Welcome back to the McDermott way. Only way we know how to do it. What's up, guys? And today, Hi. it's looking a little different. Usually it's either me and you. We have a special guest yes. on our show yeah. today. We brought Stephen McDermott. Thank you guys. Thanks for, thanks for having me. You're welcome. No problem. I we thought this was our channel and you know, you were the special <laughs> nah, guest. Nah, it's me and Jasmine. I got <laughs> kicked to the side. And uh, yeah, these guys uh, got their own little videos going on on the channel, which is nice. I love watching them myself. Glad you guys enjoy them, but I hope you guys don't mind me being part of the video today. We're gonna see how this goes we'll see. and then... This is the test run. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't do good, I'm back out of here. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, today we're gonna talk about a topic. Mm -hmm. Growing up biracial, everything biracial, yeah, raising exactly. biracial children, because yeah. now we both are. Yeah. Um, and yeah, what it's all about and just give you guys some information. Maybe we can help some people out there. All right, we're gonna get right into it. So like, comment, subscribe. Bell notifications, don't want to miss no videos coming your way, whether it's with me and Chantel <laughs> or not. And uh, yeah, we appreciate all the support. So we're going to get into this. Got a bunch of questions we're going to run through. And yeah, let's get into the video. First question Ooh. to Jazzy. Ooh. What do people usually assume your background is? Oh, dang. Mm -hmm. What do they assume? <laughs> okay, so let's start off. So when I was younger, a lot of people used to think I was Asian. Because what? I don't <laughs> oh, think, actually, I remember that. I mind. don't know why people yeah. thought I was Asian. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I, I, when you were really? a baby, when she was very young, yeah, yeah. people mm -hmm. would see you with your mom and kind of be unsure. They, they didn't know, like, is she just babysitting or, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I remember that. Okay. So that, that was early on, but you mentioned to me before, now that you're a little bit older, what do people usually assume now? Or some people, maybe not everybody, but. Mm, they sometimes assume I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what Jazzy Absolutely. told me before, which I found surprising. I never really Cuban. <laughs> yeah, Cuban. I never really thought about that, but I guess. Do you think people she could pass maybe for that? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really think about it, but once you brought it to my attention, yeah, people. Especially where we live too, because we live. Mm -hmm. As we're gonna move forward, we're gonna talk about that as well. We live in a predominantly white town, mm -hmm. so some white people, man, they can be very confused. They don't know, right? Mm -hmm. Why don't you sprinkle some, you know, something different? Yeah. People are like, oh, what are you, what right? Are so, you? <laughs> it, it could be a mystery, but it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have said that about me in the past, too. Yeah. Like we've talked about before. It hasn't been 100% confirmed. You know, we don't know what I really am. Oh, God. They, 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 they say I'm white, but I don't know. We'll find out one day. I want to do the DNA testing thing. You're white. Yeah. <laughs> Has not been confirmed 100%, but we're gonna go with white right now. But, but yeah. So Jazzy, what is your background? Um, so I am biracial, so meaning I am black and white. Mm -hmm. So my mom is black and my dad is white. Yes. So my mom comes from Nigeria. Yeah. Hey. And my dad is Ukrainian, hey. so making me black and white. Yeah. 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 Do you know a lot about both sides, or are, I, are we kind of slacking on I teaching have, the culture? I have. Like researched a bit on both the Ukrainian okay. and the Nigerian side. All right. Um, like more so the food and like the culture. Mm -hmm. I'm more so more so worked on sometimes the language, but I forget half of that because I worked on that like when I was in grade oh, seven. Or okay. Eight. But you do know some words in the language. You know, didn't you tell me the other week? I know "migwa" means high. There you go. You surprised oh. me with that one. I didn't know you knew that. All right, so what's your favorite Ukrainian food then, while we're on the topic, <laughs> and favorite oh, Nigerian God. food? I don't know, I think she's getting sick of the Ukrainian food, because we got a Ukrainian grandmother that yeah. just loves the... Cook. Uh, I won't say what it is, because I'll let you answer it, but what what is your favorite? Do you Pir still have a favorite? Pierogi. Pierogies. Hey, we eat a lot of pierogies. Right? We do. So many. That's I've never get, that's what's getting my That's what's getting my belly fat. Uh, I've never had so many pierogies in my life. But they're it's so good head. at the same time, but yet like you get so sick of them, but then you yeah. want to eat them again. They look all sweaty. I know. They're, yeah, they're, they're, little, they're <laughs> little sweaty pierogies. Sweaty. What, what's your favorite Nigerian pierogi? Ooh. Um, I know they don't make like too many traditional dishes. Okay. But I know they just make like rice and like chicken and right. I know they make like, what's that stuff called again? It's like, it's like fried and it's like, 
<laughs> don't ask me. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know, but it's really good. I think it's called plantain. Oh, plantain. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. Of course, yeah. Yeah, well, I know. You guys eat that yeah. too. Yeah. So. I know I've been wanting to try food called fufu. It's yeah. like mm. mashed potatoes, but except it's like eat the and stuff. You eat it with yeah. your hands. Yeah. I've seen that. Daddy's had that before. Mm. It's good. Yeah, yeah. I want to try that. All right. All right. Next question for Jazzy. As we were kind of on the topic earlier, what is it like growing up in a predominantly white town, mm -hmm. neighborhood, and that's kind of all you've known. So how has it been for you, your experience overall with that? Mm. So it honestly wasn't hard, but it was more so hard for accepting my hair into an all like, mm. white neighborhood. Mm -hmm. living in the yeah. Most of the girls in the you'll see have either really, really straight hair. Mm -hmm. I don't normally see any curly, coily hair or anything, and mm -hmm. I have really curly hair. So normally, when I was younger, I hated wearing my hair curly. I liked it mm -hmm. straight because all the other girls had straight hair. And that's all you see. And mm -hmm. that's all I saw, and people yeah. would constantly touch my hair oh, in class and be like, Oh my god, you have such curly hair! You know about that too, so you could jump in. Oh, like, honey. I'm sure you've had people... It's interesting because I went through the exact same thing. Yeah. I'm obviously not mixed, mm -hmm. but <laughs> where I grew up was all white. Yeah. <laughs> so I went through the exact same thing with my hair, especially. I didn't, I didn't really care too much um, about the fact that I had different textured hair, but at the same time, I did have those moments where I was like. I wish my hair was straight. Mm -hmm. I wish I just had blonde hair. <laughs> right. I remember thinking that specifically. I wish I had blonde hair. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, it's funny. I'll jump in. I, obviously, I can't relate. Yeah. But the fact that you said blonde hair, I remember when Jordan, I don't know if you remember, when she was very young, mm -hmm. she would come home and she was confused and she would say, I want yellow hair. Yeah. So blonde hair, like yeah. all of my friends, I want straight hair. So I feel like I can empathize with you guys that if you're in a setting where it's predominantly white or you know you're the odd one in the situation you might start looking at the norm as you know normal normal and or whatever. in your mind you yeah. might start thinking it's better when obviously it's not you know yeah. what i'm saying so i had those struggles with jordan and i used to get very worried and i had to find ways to instill in her you know pride and confidence in herself and show mm -hmm. her that like you know you are mixed and what we used to say is you have best of both worlds mm -hmm. you know like there's nothing absolutely nothing to be ashamed of you should be proud and i feel like you guys have came a long way even though you have been in a white town and mm -hmm. that's kind of what you see I feel like you guys are pretty proud of your of your background. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm happy where we're at. I will say though, on the other side of that too, because of my experience and just like throughout elementary school, mm -hmm. just going to a white school. When I went to high school and there was a lot more black yeah. people, I felt that it was so hard to fit in oh, with okay. with my peers who were black because I was so socialized around mm -hmm. white people that when the way I acted was not the way that <laughs> <laughs> my black peers were acting. So I did I did eventually like <laughs> gain my black Fair friends. Enough. But but at the same time I felt on the other side of that too that I was a little bit too black for the white friends. Mm, okay. <laughs> So I don't know. It's get, just get, very strange. Saying. You kind when of you grow up. You, like that. You've been in that situation too because when you used to play basketball, there was a lot more black at? girls than white. I think Pretty there was much, only like one white girl. Yeah. On so you went from whatever you've known your whole life, and then you started playing basketball, basketball and that opened the door so for black girls. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh my god, this many black girls. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's hard. It's like, yeah. how do you fit in? With yeah. your own race. So. <laughs> so did they act differently or was it a different setting than what you were used to with your friends at school? It wasn't really different. Okay. But it just felt odd to me. Right. Now that there's more to. like different race now mm -hmm. instead of just white. Or just, just people like who black. look like you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, gl I'm glad you experienced that because it was good to get some diversity going mm -hmm. here yeah. because, uh, yeah, that's all you know and that's all you see. So yeah. everyone can kind of, ha everyone has a story here and everyone can kind of relate in a way. Obviously, I can't relate as much as them, but <laughs> yeah. I understand raising yeah. uh, biracial children, you know, some, some of the things that come along with it. All right, guys, next question. This one's to Jazzy. What do you love most about being biracial? The thing I love about being biracial is that 
I tell my friends a lot that I'm biracial, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they truly understand since they're pretty, they're all white, right? Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they understand so well that I'm biracial, mm -hmm. and they under and they know my experience of when people used to touch my hair. Yeah. And I used to go home from school and be all like, Oh my god, I hate my hair, I hate how I look. I just yeah. want to look like those pretty blonde girls at my oh, school. Boy. And I actually do have a biracial friend. Okay. Um, and we used to live on their street. Mm -hmm. And she had a white mom and a black dad. Oh, so, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And so me and her pretty much understand what probably we went through. Mm, right. Yeah. So do you so. think so you think being different in the end? Is better than, mm -hmm. and it's pretty, and it's unique being biracial yeah. because you never, you do see it now, mm -hmm. but yeah. probably back then it wasn't too like. No, you. Yeah. You got a good point because when you were born, it was a different time than we're in today. Mm -hmm. um, That's true. Even mm -hmm. when you know I was younger and I met your mom, even years before then, even interracial couples were mm -hmm. a little more taboo or whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it. Nowadays. Well, at least where we live. I don't know. You guys, it could be yeah. different. Let us know. Drop it in the comments. Let me know your experience. But for us, I don't see it as a big deal out where we live. Do not you? necessarily. No, not really. Chantel wants to add something in here. <laughs> She's got some ideas. I was just going to say, like, now that I have a biracial son, okay, is it weird that... I don't know. I don't want to offend anyone. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna offend Jackie. But oh, okay. Yeah, don't offend I, the biracial. Uh, is it no. weird that I kind of only see him as black? <laughs> oh my! That's a good. That's I a good talking point there. I move to yeah. For some reason, like I don't see Josiah as being white. Even obviously you're white, but I see I'm him confirmed. as. Confirmed. <laughs> but because. I don't know, maybe it's just because of his skin color. Like, I generally He's only very see light. him. He's very light. He is light, light but I generally only see him as being black. Well, your mom, what does she see you as? Maybe you don't know, but I know. I don't know. She, her mom's the exact same way. Yeah. She always is she said, only, oh, she says I see that my she, children she as black. Sees, she sees more of us as black, even Jordan. Yep. She sees all of us black. Yeah, so. It's, but it's obvious, obviously. I know, I know, I know. There's the mix. But at the same time, when I look at Josiah, I'm like, he's a black boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. For some I reason, know. I even saw that too, for some reason. Yeah. I don't know if that, I feel it's just me, but now that you said that, I'm like, okay. And for me, I'm not the only one. what do you think? I don't know. And for me, I was gonna say like I don't know you if see the white and I don't black? know even know if I have contemplated on it that much mm -hmm. to think about it. Mm -hmm. Coming from a white person's perspective, I guess I actually look at him as biracial because <laughs> like yeah. I, I, I mean because I'm I'm just naturally including myself in the mix because like I'm his father yeah uh, I'm white I'm confirmed but I am white <laughs> yeah I know yeah. but it's so strange because like I just see him yeah yeah or even like Jordan and Jasmine mm -hmm. is like just being black but, but in, obviously they're yeah. not but in general it's it's kind of something that's widely known yeah. when someone is mixed usually that's what they gravitate to identify with more like being black like being yeah black, black and, and white. white yeah that's what i'm that's what okay. i'm saying so and i think that comes into play just with society and the way things are as well as soon as somebody and more in skin color too yeah like obviously if josiah was a lot lighter maybe even your complexion i would see him as white we look okay, pretty close you to are white. <laughs> we look pretty close to me, boy. No, but seriously, no, I joking. feel like it yeah. almost comes down to like, I'm black, so I see him as black. All right, well that's fine. I have no issues with that, you know. I'm being honest. Yeah, that I have no issues with. That. It don't matter <laughs> to me, man. All right, with that said, so what would you say you identify mm -hmm. with more, or, you know? Mm, like, how do you feel about it? I wouldn't say I'm more white. I wouldn't say I'm more black, but right. I just say I'm more. I'm just biracial, really. So yeah. you'd kind of just identify right now. Because this one's hard. Because you know those <laughs> things. Like I remember one time I got tested. I think from my mom. She said like, "Are you more white or are you more black?" Like, <laughs> like yeah. I think you said something like that too. Like, let's say if you were signing up something said, "Are you white or black?" Oh, yeah. And they have no answer to say you're biracial. Yeah. yeah. So That's I was true. like, "Oh, I don't know." Like, so, what do you? What mm -hmm. do you check? 
Well, black or white, both. Well, exactly. yeah. well, thank God you're in a time where we're more progressive now, yeah. and I don't think the options are so limited I nowadays so. to check if you're white or black or stuff like that. Usually, yeah. they have, you know. But I remember, it's weird, I remember trying to do a scholarship for something, mm -hmm. and the options were like, oh, are you from a minority? Yes. Which minority? And it only had like black, white. Right. Or not white because that's not a minority. Right, right, right. Or like Asian. So that um, limits it right indigenous. there. Indigenous, like, yeah. Especially where we're from. Like, what would you say? Okay, you're yeah. part of a half of you is part of a minority yeah. and half isn't. Like, but also when it asks black, it's leaving out so much yeah. out of the equation yeah, because exactly. there's black people from all over, and especially yeah. us being from. Canada. I know in the United States a lot of black people just identify as being American, mm -hmm. uh, African American. Mm -hmm. Some don't even want to identify as that. Mm -hmm. They just say, hey, I'm from New York. I'm from here. You know yeah. what I mean? But out here in Canada, it's very like your roots and culture and where you yeah. come from is a very big prideful thing. Like, like being I Nigerian, yeah. you know, I being from Barbados. Black Canadian. I'm yeah, no, it's, it's funny. Yeah, nobody, <laughs> nobody says that, but that goes yeah. back to history. That's a whole another story why that's set up that way with that said we're gonna get to the last question of this video any advice you could give you know for other girls your age or people in general you know how to deal yeah. with you know some of the people oh, that might yeah. be one negative thing, towards it or whatever one thing I noticed is that a lot of girls like probably biracial even black struggle with their hair especially mm -hmm. doing it and I was in the same experience too I struggled mm -hmm. doing my hair and accepting my hair Okay. Except your hair curls, whatever, it yes. does not matter. I think curly hair is beautiful, and just treat it right. Give it as much care as you like, cause curly hair is bougie. So you gotta, you gotta treat it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I love it that. Curly I like hair that. likes what it likes. You can't give it certain oils and then expect it to grow in two weeks. <laughs> you have to give it good oils. I love it. This um, right? <laughs> yeah. so good. Yeah, all right. Yeah, don't compare yourself to different races. If mm -hmm. you're beautiful, no matter what, it mm -hmm. does not matter. I was in the same experience too. I hated myself for some time. For some time, I was probably in grade six or seven, and I hated being biracial for some reason. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing because there were so many white people, and I just like wanted to look like those girls with yeah, straight, sure. pretty yeah. blonde hair, mm -hmm. and all I had was this this curly afro just <laughs> sitting there on my head and yeah. i couldn't do anything and it was yeah. so hard doing my own hair but now i've learned to accept that and yeah but just that's accept good, yeah. yourself right. that's really good advice i actually yep. love that i'm happy we ending it on that note mm -hmm. um i know your hair struggles as well because daddy has been there i was you know a single parent just with jazzy and jordan yeah. for you know a while before Chantel came along especially and I had a hard time learning too, but I was dedicated to at least, you know, grasp it to Trying a point to where, understand. you know, her mom wasn't getting mad at me if we bumped into <laughs> each other and be like, what's wrong with my child's head? What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> or, you know, just, you know, you want them to look good and feel proud of it because, you know, it looks amazing when it's mm -hmm. done right and with the right care. And that's really good advice. I like that. I didn't mm -hmm. think you were going to give the advice on that, but that was good. <laughs> yeah, I like that. All right. All right, guys. So that is the that's video. I hope you guys got a lot of information out of that and you know it was fun at the same time it yeah. was kind of a serious topic but we had fun with it at the same time of course. um thank you for watching let us know if you want to see more videos with me and the girls or you know i'll just you, go back to hanging out I, with juju you know? i can't lie you did pretty good i, I, yeah, I think i did, did good, good. <laughs> guys let me know in the comments i'm not going to totally take over all right don't worry we'll still let them do their thing and uh you know i'll pop in here and there but yeah thanks for having me guys i feel like i'm on a talk show right? I like know. A social guest. thanks for having me guys i appreciate this all right but anyways like comment subscribe bell notifications don't want to miss no videos coming your way we got a lot of fun exciting videos on the way coming and uh, we appreciate you guys watching all right we'll see you next time see ya Hello, good evening. It's Jojo, Jazzy, Steven, and oh, this Chantel, bacon number three, she beaming. Uh, see, this the demo. We tighten it like some camo. We conquer all our battles, point the contra like some ammo. Just